So I decided to look up some samples of student movie posters. And I first went on to Safari. If it's going to come up, maybe it will. Uh, I would have to back, go back one. I'll forget that part. But anyway, you can see that the first hit that I got on um, Google was this website. And up here, it tells me that it is student work, student poster samples, and it was a PDF file. So I opened it up to see what it looked like. And this assignment must have required students to do a written component to their poster. To remind you what the goal is, if you are creating a raft project movie poster, you're taking a book that you've read and you're pretending that it is going to be made into a movie. And you're going to pick certain components to include in here that would show your knowledge of some literary element. And if you look down here for the at the three different concepts for visual renditions of the poster, this person would be representing the main elements of their story. Um, some symbolism here, evident on their poster. Version 2 says that it would include some information about the main character, and it says it would include a collage um, in the sky rep representing the important people in the main character's life. Version 3 talks about um, the 80s type feel, which would be identifying the historical context and again putting some information in here about um, symbols that were important in the movie. But really what I wanted to look at is what else should be included in your movie poster. Always the title and if you look down here, it also has some taglines, a rating for what the movie would be rated. Of course, it's not a real movie. It would be a book that you are presenting as a possible movie feature because we know a lot of movies turn in or books turn into movies. You would have a tentative release date. This person also included probably what is a fictional um, website for information about the movie, the producer of the movie. And it's tough to see on here, but they also included um, who the characters would be depicted by. So they had to do some thinking about the, um, the main characters and actors or actresses that would do a good job of representing those um, characters if a movie was made. So I'm also going to scroll down to a couple other samples and show you that they have made these look very, very realistic. They've probably selected some different uh, layering techniques to make their actual movie posters. They've included some clip art. They all have a release date. They also have, you know, the title of the book, which also is the title of the movie. They have the opening date. They have a rating. They have the information down here that would include um, a company that would be the producer of the movie, which can be fictional. They have the actors and actresses' names. These are all pretty realistic looking, and I don't think these people just sat down and started throwing um, information onto a movie poster. They really had to think about what they were going to depict on here. They had to include information that would make the person that is the movie goer or the audience want to actually come and see this movie. Some of them have setting details, character details, taglines um, that maybe give some extra information about what the book slash the movie is about. Couple more. So I wanted to just share this with you if this is something that you as a student are thinking about creating. We are trying to make authentic projects. A raft project, remember, 
takes on a certain role, is geared towards a specific audience, takes on a format, in this case a movie poster, and a topic. The topic is more than just the book itself, but it's also a literary element that you hope to share with your audience. So if this is something that you choose to do, have fun. Looks like it can be a really fun project, but you've seen some quality samples here. And if you do some internet searching on your own, I'm sure you can find other quality samples.